you know, when we're talking about embedding DEI, because that's what we all want. We want to take it from this philosophy, this kind of pie in the sky thing to something that we can touch and feel every day. I wanted to ask what the obstacles could be that are preventing us from um, embedding DEI in our culture every day. But when I talk about kind of that lack of education, I feel like one of the things that's missing oftentimes when we bring in consultants is that we bring in consultants without lived experience. And so while things in theory and things that, that we've read are certainly um, applicable, there is a component that's often missing and it's hard to kind of get that transparency and that connectivity when we're talking about someone who read something versus I read it and I've studied it. And I also can tell you from my own humanity what this feels like and looks like um, in the work environment. We act ourselves into a new way of thinking. We don't sink ourselves into a new way of acting. It, you know, it's a, just a slight little nuance. So in my example, it is this. Nobody would smoke a cigarette if you sink yourself into a new way of acting because you know the the you know research out there is it causes cancer is you know all all that's out there you act yourself so the more you do it the more you become it from that perspective but a very practical ex example of this it to this list that's not a lived experience is I always say listen and believe listen and be believe resist the need to justify and so how we resist. If we just pause for three seconds before we start to talk, and then we can use some of these other practical phrases, tell me more, create curiosity, you know, so that's, that's what create curiosity to learn. And then as adults, we can determine where we want to take action. And so we want to hear from all of you, what are some of those processes that you might be experiencing within your work? Where do you see some barriers? Where can you make some changes? I was actually, a friend of mine is out of work and I had some time at lunch today. So I was kind of just kind of trolling through job sites and I came across one company. I can't remember the name of the company. If I have a moment, I'll try to find it. But it explicitly said at the head of the qualifications area, it said, we understand that women and minorities do not apply for positions unless blah, blah, blah. We encourage you to apply if you feel you meet, you know, 40 or 50 or whatever I what the number was. But it really, that was quite interesting thing to see. And I'd never seen that before. Amy Lowe, you uh, mentioned you embed inclusive behaviors in our leadership expectations and models. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your process for doing that or how they've been embedded? I know we do have what we call our leadership expectations. It's probably a little bit more complicated than what it needs to be, but we really used a card sort model from DDI um, to identify business drivers and then gather at our, our competencies um, that we expect at leaders. Now, when I say leaders, it doesn't mean everyone who has a leadership leader in their title because there is an individual contributor level. But when we talk about inclusive behaviors in there somewhere, and those behaviors are all measured in our performance management system. So it's the how they get the results. So everyone's measured. Now, of course, do people really go into the details and look at it? No, we always have work to do there. But I do feel that it's important that if we don't measure some of these things, it doesn't really get done. And I also feel it's important to embed it in current things that we do. Jennifer, do you mind talking a little bit about your comment about the training for leaders interview for diversity? I think I heard DDI mentioned earlier. And so taking a lot of the interview information and just researching cultural competence and pulling together some activities just to really get people to understand, you know, this is what unconscious bias looks like. 